welcome to Merlin's Ears. Today we have come to Gatorland in Orlando. Never been here before, so really, really excited to go inside and see all the alligators, the crocodiles, all the other animals they've got. I believe they've got a zip, uh, zip wire here as well. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that because it does look pretty intense, but who knows, might feel brave once we get inside. You can see the famous jaws just behind me there. That used to form the original entrance to the park. I believe back in 2006, unfortunately they had a fire here which destroyed the entrance building and the gift shop uh, which has obviously since been rebuilt but they managed to keep the original jewels there and we've already had our photo there um, in front of the jewels just waiting to go inside now so let's go in and have some fun look at these gorgeous guys just chilling out in the sunshine and these ones over here having their little morning swim they're pretty looking at me thinking mm, lunch has arrived <laughs> Welcome to Gatorland, warning, trespassers will be eaten. So we've just come across the Junior Jump Through Feeding Experience, it's just $5, so it's like Harry's signing up to go and feed some alligators or crocs. Oh, lovely. So we've got some lovely food there for the alligators. Here we go. These are the guys we're going to be feeding. Neil's just sorting out his tackle. <laughs> Yay! Not far from the um, front of the park, there is the Jumperoo Show sort of stadium, I guess if you want to call it, or show arena and there are some big boys in this bit of water so we'll be coming back to watch this show later on which I believe is at 12.45 the camera's not going to do it justice but this guy is a beast he is massive if I'd known this was here I would have bought our swim stuff this is Gator Gully the splash, uh, splash pad look at it, it's awesome and of course they've got some gators in the middle there I'm not sure if they do anything but it's definitely a fun way to cool off because it's going to be quite warm today Harry's very excitedly calling me over so there must be something really exciting in this enclosure. Oh, are they servals? Bobcats. Bobcats. Yeah. Oh, can I get them? Let me see if I can go close. Look. Okay, let me see if I can get a bit of a better view. This is what Harry was excited for. Look at these little guys. Harry absolutely adores cats. So, uh, big cats, he's in his element. Okay, it's only like quarter past ten in the morning, but it's very, very hot today. And this fan, it's like a wind machine. It feels amazing. Look at this Burmese python having a little snooze. There's actually two of them in here. Let me just try and move along so you don't get the reflection on the glass. There we go. There's the other one. I held one of these on holiday in Spain once. They weigh an absolute ton. Harry's very concerned because there is a turtle in with the baby gators. Where? Oh yeah, look. It's really hard to see because of the reflection. Hang on, there he is. Look! I'm pretty sure they're not going to eat him though, Harry. I think he's going to be okay. But look at the little babies. Oh. Look. Made friends with a turtle. He's probably not going to do it now. Hello, little guy. Hello, little guy. Oh, he's camera shy. Oh, he's not looking at me now. I promise you, just a minute ago, he was like climbing the glass and everything. He was being super cute. Hi. Hello, you. That's it. I wonder if I can get a job at Gatorland. Hey. Neil and Harry on a mission to find the uh, Gator stomping off-road adventure. FYI, if you're coming to Gatorland, it is the back left side of the park. And it looks like you've got to go into Gator Joe's to get your tickets, which is this uh, building just in front of us here. This is the face of somebody that's just got tickets for this stomping off-road adventure. I've literally just done a little dancing jig around the shop. I'm so excited. It is not included in the park admission. It's $15 per person plus tax, but I can guarantee it's going to be worth it. I cannot wait. We've got an hour to wait for our off-road adventure, so we're going to go now into the Jungle Crocs of the World.
So true to form, I stopped to film some of the alligators and the crocs, turned around, Neil and Harry have disappeared, and I'm just in the middle of nowhere with, um, well, bushes and God knows what around me, and uh, hoping I'm not going to get attacked by a random crocodile or alligator. <laughs> Don't know where they've gone. This is what I've got. I'm literally in this bit on my own now. <laughs> Found them. Can you hear that noise? That was like a bird or cricket. Oh, and this is apparently Sheila and Morton in here. Salt water, salt water crocodiles. Let's have a look. Oh, I'll say hello. Make sure I don't get too close to the railings. Don't want anyone to push me in. <laughs> So I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is actually our first day back in Orlando. So we arrived last night and to climatise, we were going to go and spend a day at Volcano Bay because it's Memorial Day weekend. All of the theme parks are um, going to be really, really busy. So we thought we'd come over to um, Gatorland instead, just have a chilled out day. And it's definitely given me that sort of feeling. It's really relaxed here. It doesn't feel too busy. Um, it, uh, there's quite a few moments that I may like, you can see, look, there's nobody around me whatsoever. Just kneel down there. But it feels like we've got the park to ourselves. It's absolutely lovely. Definitely a nice way to settle back into being in Orlando and getting over the jet lag. And this gorgeous girl has got so much character. Yeah. She's just been singing, she's dancing, someone's just put some music on, she's having a good time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you singing? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. You say hello. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hello. Yeah? You're very pretty. Yeah. So Neil's not the biggest fan of snakes and we've just come across some really cute little ones and then we read this sign. Now Neil's a little bit nervous. So the most common venomous snake in Florida is the pygmy rattlesnake. But I mean look how cute they are. Little diddy things. <laughs> it's the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Just seeing the tail at the back there. Ooh. This one's putting on a bit of a show for the camera. Look at you. Hi. I'll try and speak parcel tongue to you. Come on, come up. Come up with me. Come on. Come on, come up with me. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's following, oh, I think it's following my finger. I don't know. Old uh, Paula the snake charmer here. Oh my god. It's going really high. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. Look at you. Oh my God, you can actually walk through here. Oh God, we all know my history on birds. Am I gonna brave it? I think there's more chance of me going in with the crocodiles. Wow, I mean this does look actually really quite good fun. But as we all know, I've got a history of being pooped on and attacked by birds, so uh, I don't know. Everyone's being told they've got to shuffle and not lift their feet just in case they tread on them, because as you can see they're all over the floor. Okay, we're doing this. The deal is that Harry's going to feed them and I'm just going to go in and film. Right, Harry, you got to slide your feet. Oh, oh, stay still, stay still. Oh, look. Kind lady in front actually managed to get an extra bird seed, so she's um, giving us her one. Oh, look, Harry. Are you liking this? How are you feeling? Oh, good. No one's landed on me yet, thankfully, she says. But Harry's being braver than I ever would be. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I've got, okay, they've got action around my feet. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that, Neil? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm actually thinking I might brave it myself. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. Neil, ah, they got so many on me. Oh, my God, they're claws. They're claws. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, will you hurry up and eat this stuff? Oh my god, this is actually happening. Oh, oh god, I feel like the bird woman in Mary Poppins. 
be the bird stopping so bad. <laughs> God, literally not moving. Like I'm terrified to move right now. I can't shuffle. I can't shuffle. I've got a bird on my foot. It'd be poos on my trainers. Oh my god. I'm trying to shuffle. I'm trying to shuffle. Look at this little guy. I've made friends with a bird. Who thought this would actually ever happen? Wow, I cannot believe I just did that. I actually went in an aviary and fed birds. Not gonna lie, I wasn't too keen on the feeling of the claws um, on my arm, but at least none of them pooped on me. They're actually kind of cute, and um, would I do it again? Probably yes. A much better experience than when I went to Discovery Cove and got pooped all over. So uh, maybe I'm overcoming my fear of aviaries at Gatorland today. Come back over to Gator Joe's for our stomping gator off-road adventure. Drug tour that operated here. We've quietly driven out those great simple folks who ran that tour and turned the ride into a mind-numbing experience like you've never had. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? This is what you guys paid for? Eight and a half hours of the redneck version of a small world? <laughs> Cut this off, please. Guys, 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 guys. I got a little something called self-respect. I'm not going to this uh, gender reveal party gone wrong back here. I'm not going to do it. I got a better idea. I say we steal the buggy, go off road and find us some gators. What do you guys say? Woo! Yeah. Sound pretty good. Hey, Kayla, show me what it does, honey. Yeah. Folks, I don't care what you hold on. You can hold on to stuff. It's about to get a little bumpy. Check it out. We go And we just know this bucket. Anybody here looking for a vacation home? We got some empty lots. Yes, but this one over here comes with a redneck food truck. We got some outdoor plumbing for you and uh, for the yard dog. That's all white, no barking. This one over here comes with a uh, <coughs> roommate and uh, we'll throw on some freeze for you. Get smell right out for you guys. Don't worry about that. <laughs> first up, we got you, Caddy. You had a little bit of waffle. Oh, oh. 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 Actually, that was more stable than my last relationship. <laughs> hey, y'all smell that? What is that? It smells like the Grim Reaper gym socks out here. What is that? What in the bootleg Jurassic Park gate is this? All right, hold on. I need, I need, all right. How you doing, buddy? Good. I need a small person. You look pretty small. All right, you, you having fun? You want to have some yeah. more fun? All right, here's yeah. the plan, man. I'm going to unbuck you. I'm going to ball you up. I'm going to eat you over that gate. You're going to swim real fast, wrestle off about 100 alligators. We're going to flip that switch for us. We're going to ride on through. We're not going to pick you up. How's that sound? Good. <laughs> That's fancy like Applebee's on a date night. Oh, yeah. That right there ain't uh, fake trust and pixie dust. We leave that to the right park up the street, guys. That right there is WD-40, duct tape, and a little something we like to call the clapper. High tech stuff, guys. Last time we counted, we got more than 100. Sale, thrash, jaw smashing American alligators in this pond. And they get paid a lot of money to do nothing all day long. For the one right here, that's my friend Allie right there. Everybody wave to Allie. Say hi, Allie. Hi, Allie. Y'all know what Allie's short for, right? Alligator. Uh, no, sir, that's Allison. Why would you name the alligator alligator? That's weird. You <laughs> call your dog, pug? So we've just come off of the Stomping Gator off-road adventure. I'm never going to remember that without a sign behind me. That was so, so much fun. Our tour guide and driver were fantastic. It's kind of like 
the Jungle Cruise at Disney, but on land, and so much better. There was loads of air time, we were like bunny hopping, we were going all over the place with just a little seat belt on. I came out of my seat a couple of times. Harry um, got a bit of good interaction. They were going to throw you over the fence, weren't they, at one point to open yeah. the gate? He was willing, he was going to do it. Um, but yeah, an absolutely brilliant experience. It was definitely worth the, the money that we paid to go on there. Highly, highly recommend it if you come to Gatorland. Choo choo! gentle train ride really informative and a great way to see all of the parks it seems to have sort of wrapped around the whole park um, it's just what we needed after the um, the bumpy off-road adventure I think we've kind of done most of the park now so we're just going to go and check these show times and see what shows we can catch while we're here you can find the beautiful people for a job at the park so you already need these two guys Woo! fantastic all right so on my left hand side all the way from the city of St. Cloud give it up for Bubba Job applications that said y'all wanted to be gator handlers, that's great, then you wore some really weird stuff. Looks <laughs> like the crops know that it's showtime, or the alligators. As I make y'all These guys have all just appeared from nowhere. Alright, so look, in order to work at Gearland, you guys need some sort of reptile or alligator handling experience. Y'all just left that completely blank. Now, do you have any sort of experience? Cool, what do you have? I was married once. <laughs> and how does that count? Well, she was cold blooded, and she took my dog. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the first part of the competition. We're going to send that chicken all the way out. Alligators are going to jump up and rip it down. First person that gets both those pieces of chicken down is going to run back there, hit the gong, get the first point of the competition. So what we're going to do is my lady, we're going to switch you guys up. Why'd you hit the gong? No, you got to get your chicken down, then you hit the gong. <laughs> no, you're not listening. Get your chicken down, then you can hit the gong. Yeah, you got it? Ready, one, two, three, three and three quarters, and go! Crocodile, come on! There you go, if y'all ain't making noise, these alligators and crocodiles will not jump if y'all are not making noise. Crocodile, look at that over here on the I'm gonna be first winner of the competition. Oh! There you go, let's see if we can get that crocodile to go back up there. She does not miss. There you go, look, now that big one's looking at it. Keep it right there, keep it right there. He's gonna get it, he's gonna jump up and grab it, watch. Oh, lazy jump, lazy jump. Using the wall, and I'll just let him. Oh, nothing. There you go, somebody can get something going. It's not working out here, send it all the way out. Get the cross right here, let's see what she'll get it. Scary warning this is a real life swamp, ain't nothing fake out here. And we look like we could come across a few snakes in this bit. Suddenly, Neil started to walk very, very quickly. <laughs> so far, the only wildlife we've seen are bugs, so we're all right. 
just seeing another warning to um, not pick up snakes like we're gonna pick up a snake out here Raccoon. It's going to jump at my face now, be like natural lampoon. <laughs> right, that bird is either really brave or really dumb. He's literally sitting on the back of an alligator. <laughs> Land in Florida, had an absolutely amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the footage that we managed to capture for you. I think we pretty much covered everything. Uh, but definitely the highlight for me was the off-road adventure. I can't remember the name of it again because I haven't got a sign behind me to read from. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.